night. Yeah, I mean, it's it's we're busy yet again. Another week where we're seeing these warm temperatures early on and then for some reason, Thursday just seems to be the snowy day. That's just the trend uh, that we are in right now. Clouds and radar showing this is a bigger system sitting over uh, Omaha right now. That low pressure system, a lot of rain. So if you're seeing some breaks in the rain right now, just know that you probably still want to hold on to that umbrella. Probably a rain jacket, though, because it is very breezy out ahead of this system. A lot of rain, and this is going to continue through the next couple of hours. As we zoom in, you can see a few pockets of dry air there just south of Madison and Fitchburg, uh, Oregon over towards Jefferson as well, but still that rain moving in from the south and southwest. I would have that umbrella handy through the afternoon and evening. It's Valentine's Day, so if you're heading out for date night, have the umbrella rain jacket definitely as because we're going to see those winds gusting up to about 35, even 40 miles per hour in some areas out of the south, and that's actually going to help keep temperatures in the 40s through the overnight hours. Very, very mild for tonight. This rain sticking with us after about midnight or so is when we're starting to really dry out there. Now this system is going to stall to our north, so our most northern areas up towards Camp Douglas, Montello might see just a little bit more of that lingering rain through Wednesday morning. If temperatures get close to freezing, maybe a flurry or two, but for the most part, we're going to stay dry through Wednesday. And then here comes Thursday, another snow system that we're tracking, and it looks to be another tricky forecast for us. We're going to be watching this snow moving into the area early Thursday morning, beginning light, and then I think late morning, early afternoon, yet again, which is very similar to what we saw last week. That seems to be where we'll see that more moderate snow. But last time, Madison was the bullseye. This time, I think it's going to be closer to Janesville. It's, it's, it's uh, moving to the southeast. We keep, we keep seeing that trend. And if that continues, Camp Douglas, uh, Baraboo, the Dells, probably not going to see hardly any of that snow, which is, again, very similar to what we saw last week, where Madison uh, got a lot of that snow there and areas to our north uh, did not see anything. Now, this is going to taper into Thursday evening, and then by Friday we'll see sunshine and then cooler conditions there. And as we go ahead and zoom out, what we want with this system, low pressure needs to track right over Chicago, Gary, Indiana, into the southern part of Lake Michigan. That's what we're seeing. Seeing. We're seeing that cooler air being pulled in there. Now we just have to be monitoring where those highest totals will be. And like I said, I think Janesville is going to be uh, that bullseye there. I would, I would go ahead and bet that Janesville is going to see some higher totals. Madison, it's 50-50. And then uh, up towards uh, Baraboo, the Dells, Camp Douglas, probably not going to see a whole lot there. But it's something that we're paying attention to because the chance for four plus inches of snow, very high in Janesville and even in Madison. And once this rain system system is on out of here, we'll really be able to uh, narrow down those snow totals. But uh, right now, most likely four to six inches low end, though, two inches. It's going to be an all or nothing kind of forecast. It looks like for Madison, so we'll be able to uh, keep you updated through tomorrow as temperatures drop and then we'll see a high of 28 on a snowy Thursday. Yet again, those temperatures are going to be cool for Friday. A low temperature of eight in the morning will be warmer into the weekend.